was not always a prisoner in the Dreaming City. The Ahamkara were once free to roam its halls. That's where I met Taranis. And Taranis, unlike others, unlike me, cherished those who wished to him. Those who bargained with him were safe. It must have cost him. I found his restraint intriguing. And my art, my dreaming halls, my dance with the queen, moved Taranis in turn. Together, we became the ebb and flow of the tide. Through him, I glimpsed a world without the tireless cycle of bargaining and feeding. Of peace. Taranis invited me to his lair. A place where we couldn't be found. In the ontology of the Black Garden. My joy of turning desire to woe faded for one rapturous moment. We made successes together. We built secrets together. And then came your great hunt of the Ahamkara. The Queen took my freedom under guise of protection. Taranis and I were forever separated. But we could still whisper to one another in the space between. At least until a king arrived and made a bargain I could not refuse. I became both king and dragon. I spoke with his voice, and Taranis knew it. So he did the one thing our kind must never do. Grant his own wish, at the cost of his existence. A wish to keep the eggs out of harm's reach until someone could protect them. Someone like you. His wish keeper. <laughs>